So I just finished term two of Mark Brunette's digital art course. Term two is split up into three main lessons. Photoshop for digital production part two, anatomy of the head, and three point and four point perspective. Photoshop for digital production covers basic graphic design. This part of the course goes over how to use vector graphics, which is a tool in Adobe Photoshop that allows you to create graphics that can be scaled up and down without damaging the resolution of the image. It also covers how to use different layer types and different layer effects, such as strokes and shadows. There's also a section on basic shading techniques, as well as how to blend different colors together. In addition to that, Mark also discusses how to use different brush types and how to make a custom brush. So I didn't spend too much time on this part of the course because I was more interested on the anatomy and perspective sections. However, it does give you a basic overview of graphic design and I've actually used a lot of the techniques that I learned in this part of the course to design my YouTube thumbnails. Now if you're interested in doing more complex graphic design tasks, I would actually suggest that you supplement this part of the course with additional outside courses or books because it does give just a pretty basic overview of graphic design. I would say that Mark did a pretty good job of covering the basic shading and blending techniques as well as how to use custom brushes. The anatomy of the head part of the course covers how to draw the head, ears, eyes, nose, and mouth from construction in 3D. The head is essentially constructed using the Loomis method and then each of the individual facial features are mapped onto the head accordingly. The details for this lesson were extremely thorough and goes very deep into the specific features of the face. It felt like I was taking a biology class for much of this part of the course because of how much detailed analysis was given on each anatomical facial feature. I was pretty impressed with the amount of knowledge that was given on the anatomy of the head. The only thing about this part of the course that I wish would be changed was that there would be a, a few more step-by-step -step walkthrough examples of how to draw different head shapes. It covers how to draw the most basic Loomis head shape, but different people have different heads and it actually only covers how to draw a male head. So it would be nice if there was a part of the course that detailed how to draw a female head. There also isn't much emphasis on how to actually shade the head and I think that beginners taking this course would feel pretty lost in, in that area. So I think a more detailed walkthrough of how to shade the head would have been super helpful. The perspective lesson is an extension of the perspective covered in term one and details how to draw in three-point perspective and also a little bit on four-point perspective although that's not the main focus of this lesson. It's a good overview for the basics of perspective drawing and there's a nice video down at the end of how to draw a complex structure in three-point perspective. I should also mention that there's an additional section on visual communication where Mark covers the basic elements of art. This includes a basic discussion on elements such as lines, shapes, and volumes, and also scale. I thought it was a nice overview that covers some of the basic fundamentals of art. After taking this lesson, I've been noticing things in other people's art that I didn't notice previously, especially in how they use negative space. So in my previous review of Mark Brunet's Digital Art School, where I covered term one, I said that there was plenty of homework assignments even though there were a lot of other reviewers who felt like there wasn't enough. After taking term two, I've actually changed my opinion. I think that term two is definitely lacking in homework assignments. It felt like the homework assignments were just a very basic overview and almost an afterthought compared to the amount of detail that was given in the lessons. They don't really allow you to go more in depth in the material or provoke a more deep understanding of what was taught. I think it's kind of a shame because the lessons were very very deep and detailed and it's unfortunate that the homework assignments were much more shallow in comparison. Specifically I think it would have been nice to have some more homework assignments on how to draw different shapes and volumes especially related to anatomy in three-point perspective. You're definitely going to need to go out of your way to find your own methods for studying and learning the material. One thing that I would recommend is going through Mark Brunette's 30 days to learn art video on YouTube where he covers 30 assignments that you could do over 30 days. So I went through and actually did each of the 30 assignments and afterwards I think it helped me quite a bit with the anatomy section. So then what's my verdict? I think this term is great for people who already have a bit of experience in art. The best part of this term by far is the anatomy of the head which goes into an extreme amount of detail that you won't find in other tutorials or courses. The other lessons on Photoshop for production and perspective are also a solid overview and go more in detail and depth than what you would find on an average YouTube tutorial. However, even though the lessons have a lot of depth, it's unfortunate that the homework exercises aren't able to 
stitch together the knowledge that you gain in the lessons. I think that if you're a complete beginner, a lot of the material will probably end up going over your head, especially in the anatomy of the head lesson. And you might be better off starting with a more basic course that has homework exercises that matches the material better. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to go and check out my other reviews of digital art school. If you're already taking digital art school, let me know down in the comments if you agree with my assessment or if you disagree. Thanks for watching and see you next time.